Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is OG and today we are back. So one of my all-time favorite brawlers, this happy old Santa Claus Dynamite right here. He got a new gadget yesterday and it is pretty decent, honestly, compared to his first gadget. I actually, I'm one of the few people that like the fidget spinner gadget. Um, but I mean, it's definitely not one of the better gadgets in the game. I just like it for the move speed. Um, and before that, it was just useless. It was way better just to not use it, I think. But they buffed it like decently and it, you can make some cool plays with it and get position back. So I like that aspect of it. But this new gadget is kind of almost game changing, I'd say, for Dynamite, except for one minor thing. It is glitched right now. So <laughs> if you hit only one stick, if it's the right stick, it'll stun them. If it's the left stick, it won't stun them. I'm sure they're going to patch it. They can't leave it like that. If you hit both sticks, it stuns every time. Pretty much the left stick doesn't apply the gadget for whatever reason. Um, shout out to Alec26 for finding that out. But we'll take a look at the gadget. So it's satchel charge. Once activated, the next main attack also stuns enemies for 1.5 seconds. You get three charges per match. As soon as you click it, um, it can literally stay the entire match if you don't like shoot. So there's no time limit. You gotta be like really careful. I find it's really good to use on like tankier brawlers. It's really risky to use on like stuff like Mortis or like you know Jackie with speed or anything that's just kind of elusive I wouldn't really try doing that you only get three charges and it's pretty much a guaranteed kill on like any like mid-range brawlers even squishies of course it's a guaranteed kill um so you gotta like pick your targets pretty well but it can be really game changing if you do land that charge and yeah I'm gonna show you guys how to use it let's get into the video Alright guys, game number one. So we do have a Frank. I'm going to be going for him. Unfortunately for us, Frank, assuming this one does have the gadget, he can just bust out of our uh, stun just because that gadget's actually really good. So maybe we'll actually aim for the Poco uh, just because you only get like three, right? Even though he has three stuns, I'd rather just get the Poco and it's like a guaranteed kill every time. So maybe I'll just open up. So, okay. So screeching solo so you guys are gonna see it in action here so we'll connect and it was the right stick so it's gonna stun and then we can just break it open we got a lot of good value and you guys can just see like how good it is now i did kind of just like wait so i could like land my super up so i could get a good shot too but usually you can just burst people down um so the frank's actually gonna be pushing up really aggressively here i'm just gonna like super out and i'll get the frank nice um, and we're gonna have to rotate. Sorry, my phone is ringing. It's probably Ashlyn S. <laughs> but, um, we're just gonna like move the ball around. We have really good position at this point, so they kind of have to come into us, and it's getting broken open, which is really good for our Piper. So we're gonna go for the Poco again. Did we miss? Oh, we missed. Okay, so you can see even if you miss, it counts as a charge. So that's kind of unlucky. Um, so you gotta be really sure with your shots, and usually you just wanna like take your time to aim it. So let me see if I can get to redemption here. All right, Poco, come on. I'm gonna 100% hit the Poco. <gasps> All right, that is the demonstration for this game. You guys are gonna have to wait for next game to see more of it uh, because unfortunately I am out. I, I don't know how I missed that one. The first one, I wasn't too focused, but that one was kind of bad. Uh, so I'm gonna miss that shot as well. If you wanna, you wanna like super them and then you can kind of like tell where they're going to bounce and just like throw your next shot there predicting them with dynamite it's a pretty good secret um it's not a secret strategy i guess but all the good dynamics can do it really well and you can get like pretty much an instant kill on any like mid-range squishy brawler that way so the frank's just going to be kind of running at us here um this is one of the moments where i think fidget spinner would be really good just because i could position myself better he's just going to go for a goal actually so Piper shot kind of knocked him out of my attack. That's okay though. We'll uh, take them both out and the Piper can start bringing up the ball. So let me see if, okay, no, I think they're just kind of running it down a little bit. Maybe we go for a trick shot. Trick shots only. Oh. <laughs> All right, Ash, cut it early. Okay, let's uh, get into game number two. Alright guys, game number two. So we are going to go over to Heist, and odds are this Dynamite has the same gadget as us, so we got to be careful of that. We did bring Jump this time, um, even though... <laughs> so I might just like focus on hitting Jumps instead of the gadget this game. Uh, I'm going to let the Bull just move up a little bit. I think I won't use my gadget at this point. It's better, like... I've gotten better results just catching people like really off guard with it. So I'm gonna like just see if I can get them there. Nice. So I will connect on the bull and I'm just gonna start going for the safe. Maybe I can catch the bull out a little bit here as well. Maybe I get the Rico. 
Okay, so my super will connect on the Rico. Um, okay, so I did just activate it. Gotta be careful. Nice. So you can see it is gonna get two full clips there and we'll take the bull out as well. So if you're really fast with your auto aim, um, and as long as you have the shots, you can actually get two shots uh, for 2200, which is really, really big. Um, so that's pretty much going to take out everyone. You guys saw like the work it did on the bull and it'll do that to like anyone. You just got to hit that first shot and then <laughs> it's all downhill from there. I'm going to let. Oh, OK, that's unfortunate. I didn't know he was in there. Um, are we going to lose? It's kind of close. They do. Have, OK, so you can see he just wasted his uh, gadget. Bull's gonna be coming down through mid here, so just be careful, Jesse. I'm gonna see. All right, so we found the bull. Maybe I just camp in bush and see. Ah, I got exposed. All right, we'll take out the. Re oh no! You guys can see the glitch. So it, I guess only the left one hit there. Uh, so unfortunately, we didn't get the kill. If uh, the, I mean they're gonna patch that, but you can just see it happens pretty often. And I'm gonna go for the bull here. Okay, both hit that one, so my team can take him out. I just did that because we're getting really pushed back. I don't want the dynamite to get positioned just because the bull is like really tanky. So then again, like just freely move up. So we gotta turn it around a little bit here. Um, I'm still sad about that one stick that uh, hit but didn't register. So maybe let's see if they need help here. All right, I can take out dynamite perhaps. All right, he's gonna smiley face and then. Hopefully they can defend. I mean, I'm on safe if you guys can defend. I don't think they can defend though. Mm, we'll see. Oh no. Oh, okay. Nice. Let's go. Last second dub and we're going to take the heist game. All right guys, game number three. We are going to be in bounty. So this is actually not a bad map for Dynamite. He, since like they changed the maps from all like super long range, a lot of them are kind of like mid range and you don't use like, before you would use like Piper, Brock, um and like penny or like something like that just three range brawlers and that would literally just be bounty but now you pretty much never use that combination um you can see the variety we're playing in so mr p and sprout are both very popular on this map and we're gonna take out the sprout there so Bo is actually getting really popular in bounty too because another comp is the double tank poco comp and Bo does so good into that just because of his mines and the new tripwire gadget which super broken but i think it actually like really suits him so bo has probably my favorite gadgets in the game i think they're like both like really unique and they both kind of like add like a different dynamic to them so the bow is going to get taken out by the jacket i'm going to jump up and see if i can get this first satchel charge off want to make sure you don't use it on a penguin okay i was going to anticipate the bow going down there jackie's going to scare him off though so he, I think he might be trapped. Is he still down here? Okay. So our Jackie's going to take him out. Maybe I just go for like one shot on the sprout when I see it. All right. We're going to go for Mr. P. That's going to connect. Oh, I didn't know there were mines there. I got kind of baited. Um, I guess he put them there for the Jackie. Uh, it kind of makes sense just because Jackie was uh, very up there getting kills. So I had no idea those were there. <laughs> it's a little unfortunate. I think I'll get the bow though. No, I didn't get the bow. It's tragic. Like if I had fidget spinner, a hundred percent, I just follow it up and like just kill him there. Um, all right, so we are gonna regen here, and we can see we're popping our gadgets. <laughs> I didn't use any gadgets that entire game. We're, we got a bland fire or something. Oh, nice, we connected. Nice, I got the stun. Okay, nice. We're gonna get the kill, and I should have used more gadgets that game. I don't know. <laughs> it's just it didn't seem like a good time. We're gonna stun this pro, and he almost gets taken out, but we still get the dub, so it doesn't really matter. All right, guys, this is gonna be the final game of the video. So we are on Hard Rock Want Mine. Uh, we just did like a full circuit of all the maps out right now, the 3v3 ones at least, except, I don't know, maybe a Hot Zone's out or something. I don't really wanna play that though. Um, Carl is actually a really good target just because of his HP, and he is kind of like easy to hit. Compared to like some brawlers, they have like difficult movements. Um, just for maybe maybe it's like me at least I don't know, but I kind of like pick up on it. So Carl is definitely not one of them. And you can see when you activate it, it has like this little thing over your head. So okay, I don't want to use it on the crow. Um, crow would be kind of a waste. 
So, okay, whatever. We're gonna use it on the crow and we'll just take him out. It was like a guaranteed kill, so he was getting like really annoying position and it's crow, so I didn't wanna just ignore him because then he just becomes a nuisance. And so we're gonna like spam out this part a little bit. Maybe we activate one because my team's doing really good too. So we're gonna get, oh, we wasted it. It feels so bad when you waste it. You gotta be 100% sure with this one. Um, it's, I don't know, it just, cause it's so, it's a guaranteed kill pretty much if you hit it on like anyone in their comp and it's just like a waste. So I did pick up my super there and the Piper's there to help me out too. I'm gonna waste my super, I'm, I'm being so wasteful this game. He's gonna pop a gadget on me, that's why I'm moving so slow. Uh, you don't really play against Crow Gadget too, too often. He's not that popular right now, um, or he hasn't been for a while, besides the solo meta, and he's always kind of like popular there. So I'm just going to regen because I'm very weak. Hopefully Crow doesn't do that, uh, but he is going to jump in. I'm going to see. Okay, nice. So I kind of like pretended like I switched my focus to the Poco, and then he thought he was good to go. So I'm going to see if I can get the Poco here now. So I don't want them to see that I use my gadget and it's going to connect and we'll take him out. So the crow should be over here. All right. Hopefully he doesn't get jump and take out our Piper. I think the Carl's still alive too. Yeah. So they're going to actually reset and steal all of our gems. I just got to stay alive here. I'm going to like throw down there. Hopefully we can take them out. Come on guys. Nice. So we are going to get them maybe. Hopefully, Poco die. He's gonna get his heal. I have five gems. I'm kind of trapped. My team, I think I'm dead. Oh, why did they not pinch me? All right, what is going on? This game's kind of wild right now. Uh, I can get them. Maybe I hate shooting upside down. It's such an, it's so annoying, but I'm gonna chip them down and what? what is going on? <laughs> okay, he has super maybe. Ah. Carl, come on. I think I, okay. <laughs> This is just a fiesta, guys. I think we're, we should be good. Their Carl just used super. Cr oh, Crow's jump. I hope it didn't jinx it. So we'll take them out and then get the Poco to one shot someone. Hit him. Thank you. Okay, Poison just ran out. So we should be good. Celebratory double jump. Oh, okay. One more chance. Oh, no. Tragic. All right. We are going to take every game, though, on the little circuit. Alright guys, so that is going to be it for today's video. Um, let me know what you guys think about Dynamite's new gadget. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, besides the whole glitch, they have to patch that though. I don't know how that happened, uh, but I think it will be really good. You just have to like be sure. So I'm still experimenting with it. I haven't played too, too much, but I think it's definitely an upgrade from his last gadget. And yeah, definitely go out and try it if you guys got it. If not, you can always go into friendly rooms and uh, just play with your friends and test things out there. Anyways, let me know what you think of the gadget. I hope you guys are all having a good day. And yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.